Hi. Hi, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Thanks. I like the shirt too, it's comfortable. I'll just wait a second before I start going, I guess. Mikey, hey! <laughs> so um, today I'm gonna be making something, and I, I hope I've never made this before. I don't know, like I'm making biscuits and gravy and I don't think I've ever made it on live before, but I'm just gonna go for it because that's what I felt like making this morning. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make the biscuits from scratch and then do the, uh, gravy as well. I normally just do the gravy and I just buy the biscuits, but today just for the sake of having a video to show you guys, I'll do homemade biscuits. I'm trying to pin it. Hold on. No, don't go away. <laughs> Why? Got it. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, I'll just go ahead and get started. So... The first thing I'm gonna do, oh wait, I flipped the camera, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the biscuits. So the first step is you wanna heat your oven to 450, which I've already done. And then you wanna like uh, get your milk mixture started. So the first thing you wanna do is take one cup of almond milk and I'm using this weird like Aldi knockoff. It looks exactly like the one I normally use, but it's like Aldi version, which is really threw me off because I went in there for the first time recently and it's like everything I'm used to, but just slightly like off. It's, it's really weird, but um, unsweetened almond milk, I'm using one cup. You all right? <laughs> and then um, you want to do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So kind of, this is what I'm using, just apple cider vinegar. And that's two tablespoons of that. And the reason why you're gonna put that in the milk first is because um, you want it to sour because we're making like a buttermilk biscuit type thing. So it's gotta have like a sour buttermilk flavor to it. Um, so that's why you wanna put your vinegar in the milk first and let that sit for about 10 minutes, which I've already done. I've just went ahead and started it. And you wanna make sure that's mixed. So I've already started it and you can see it's like curdled. So that's good, that's what you want. That basically makes it like buttermilk. And then the next step is you're gonna just combine your dry ingredients. Uh, tips on how to start making cookies. Um, I would just say just try to like think of one that you're in the mood for and then just Google a recipe for it because that's usually what I do. I just like think of like, oh, I'm really in the mood for like gingerbread cookies. So then I just Google it. Like just like a, I usually do regular recipes and then just veganize them. So I don't usually like look up like vegan recipes first. I usually try to find like a traditional like gingerbread and then I try to like see like, oh, it has two eggs. So I'm gonna use two flax eggs or has a cup of milk. I'm gonna use a cup of non-dairy milk. So that kind of thing. Hey, what's up? What's up, Rory? Hey, what's up, Rory? Hey, what's up, Rory? Come here. I'm gonna get her a banana cracker real quick. Also, if any of you have babies around, these are great. They're like little banana husks and she loves them. They're like her favorite thing. holding the baby okay so first thing you want to do is mix your dry ingredients um, so that would be two cups flour I already put it in my like sieve thing 
And then next it's gonna be four teaspoons baking powder. So I'm just using regular baking powder, just this. And that's two teaspoons, no, four teaspoons of baking powder. See, if I don't write this shit down, I'll completely forget. Four teaspoons, and I'm just gonna put that straight into my like um, sifter thing. So one, And then you want to do just two teaspoons, I believe. No, half teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon baking powder. Sorry, guys, if you can't tell, I'm a little distracted. So biscuits in America are like um, way different than European biscuits or British biscuits. Um, they are like a big piece of bread, basically. So that's one fourth teaspoon baking soda. If I can get it out of here. You're helping me, Rory, thanks. All right, that's one fourth teaspoon baking soda. Yeah, they're, I guess they're like rolls. Yeah, they're like dinner rolls, kinda. Um, so yeah, one fourth teaspoon baking soda, then three fourths teaspoon salt. So I'm just gonna use kosher salt for that. All right, I'm gonna have to put you down for this. I'm gonna see if you're letting me. You wanna let me put you down? Okay. I'm gonna give her a bottle real quick and see if she'll be good. Give me just a second. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so back to what I was doing. Three fourths teaspoon salt. Okay. And I'm using kosher salt because it like dissolves better and salt and then I'm gonna just sieve that into a big bowl oh that's loud sorry I just like to use a sieve because I feel like it makes it a lot finer Makes it like a fluffier biscuit, I feel like. Okay. So now that I've got my dry ingredients all mixed, here, I'm gonna go double check on the real quick. I know the noise is the worst, I'm sorry, but it's done, I don't have to do it again. So next what you wanna do is you want to combine the dry ingredients with um, like your butter and shortening. So what I've got is two tablespoons of non-dairy butter, so I'm using my Smart Balance. And you wanna just put that right into the dry ingredients. tablespoons of vegetable shortening so I'm using butter Crisco which actually is vegan it's literally just like vegetable shortening um, surprisingly and like artificial flavor so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of that and now that I've got 
got that kind of put together, I'm going to mix that by hand in just a second, but I want to get started on the gravy because it takes a minute. So I'm going to start by, I've got a pan heated to medium. So I'm using um, White Life Sausage. You can get it like at most grocery stores. I know like I've found this like pretty much everywhere, this stuff. And it tastes really good. It tastes like sausage to me, like actual like meat kind of. So I'm going to use half a thing of that. And I'm going to put a little oil in my pan. Just like a drizzle of vegetable oil. Maybe a little more than that. And this looks really hot, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, that's really, way too hot. My oven gets really hot. It's a new oven. I'm like trying to get used to it. But I'm going to go ahead and just crumble this like sausage into it, into the pan. And I just do that by hand. Then you can break it up with a spatula a little better. Because once it starts to cook, it's easier to like kind of chop up once it's in the pan. Up. Yeah, this takes a minute to cook, so that's why I'm just getting started. So, and then just break it up with your spatula like this. And you just want to get it brown. So, like, just like you would do with like regular meat, you just want to make sure it's brown. Um, you don't, you, you want to, I mean, once it's brown, it's cooked, like that's how, you don't have to worry about it being undercooked once you see that the edges are brown. Uh, buttermilk biscuits. A potato masher, I'll have to try that. So next what you want to do is by hand, you want to just uh, mix your butter into the flour until it like looks crumbly. So you want it to look kind of like sand with little pebbles in it, if that makes any sense. Like it's just crumble it by hand until you mix all of the butter and all of the um, shortening together. <laughs> That would be like anti-ASMR, like if I were to do like the scraping of the um, the bowls and stuff and like, ugh, that's the worst sound in the world. I'm sorry that you guys have to hear that sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go check on Rory really quick. Give me just a second. You can see it's starting to get kind of brown. Just chop it up. Okay, back to this. So I'm gonna keep mixing this by hand just a little bit, and then you're gonna put your buttermilk mixture in it. I'd say that's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna add the buttermilk now. And just 
mix that into it. And it's gonna be a very sticky wet dough. Like you're just gonna have to mix it by hand once it gets to this point. And it's gonna get all over your hands, but. And then you wanna dump it onto like a floured surface. So I'm gonna get a little bit of flour on like a, a mat. Or I guess I can just use the bowl. I'm just gonna use the bowl and put a little flour in it. Yeah, Rory's laying down. She's asleep. She's not feeling well. She's kind of sick right now. So, like, I can see her from here. She's, like, just laying down. Alright. So, I'm going to get this onto a slightly floured surface. You don't want to do too much flour. So, just use, like, a little bit. Because the more flour you add into it, the more it's going to go into the dough. And then it's going to be, like... I know, sticky and wet. I know, that's gross, I'm sorry. There's no other way to describe food but in like really gross ways, I'm sorry. So you just wanna fold it about two, three times. You don't wanna overdo it because you don't wanna over mix the dough. And then once you fold it about two or three times onto your floured surface, you can kind of stretch it out. And then I'm gonna use a cookie cutter to cut out the biscuits because I don't actually have a biscuit cutter. These are going to be really big biscuits. So I've got one right here and I'm just going to put it onto a, or like a baking mat. I've got a little bit of leftover dough, so I'm just gonna roll that out again. I've been good, just really busy. Like I've just been so, so busy working on stuff. Like I made like 55 cookies that I was gonna send out and they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. So I'm gonna restart them. And that's kind of why I gave myself a little bit of like time because I told everybody I was baking them and shipping them Monday, which I'm so glad I did because I completely messed up like a whole batch. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be baking and shipping them out. I'll be starting the baking tonight. I would love to make a cookbook. I just don't know, like, when I have the time. When I have the time, I'll compile you guys a cookbook of everything I've made. I just forget what I make most of the time. All right, and this one is just gonna be a weird shaped one. Gonna be a little biscuit. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my kind of wonky shaped biscuits right here. And I'm gonna put them a little closer together so they're like just barely touching. That one's weird looking, but whatever. They'll taste good. So now I've got them kind of touching, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven for about, I think, 15, 20 minutes. So we'll start with 15. Always start low that way you can check on them and see if they're like a little bit brown on the top because you want them to have like a golden brown top and any more than that then they're gonna taste like burnt so let me wash my hands really quick because I've got dough all over me the um, 
cook them on top rack. I cook them in the middle rack, and then um, I'll check on them, and if they're not getting golden brown, then I'll stick them on the top rack. I've got a convection oven, though, so my oven, um, the heat circulates with a fan, so it kind of doesn't matter which, um, like, setting I put mine on, but if you don't have a convection oven, I would just say, like, oh, hey, Mike. I was going to message you and say hi today. I've, I've been really busy. Worry's been kind of sick today, so I've been just kind of seeing how she's doing. Um, she's just napping now, but anyways, hi, Mike. <laughs> And um, all right, so now that I've got the um, sausage browned, I'm gonna start making the gravy by setting this aside. Also, Mike, you should come over. I have plenty of food right now, so. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna set the sausage to the side just because we're gonna make the gravy. So for that, what you wanna do is get, I believe it's, one fourth cup flour. So all right, so one fourth cup flour, just stick it straight in your pan. We're gonna do medium heat. Kind of like a low, low medium. You don't want it too high. And then we're gonna do a little bit of almond milk. We're gonna do two cups of almond milk, but a little at a time. So I'm going to do it one fourth cup at a time. Because you want to let it thicken as you go. And then once it starts to brown, then you can keep adding more of the milk. So I've added one fourth cup already. I'm going to do another. So now I've got half a cup in there. Yeah, I'll post the recipe later. All right, so. Now I've got one full cup in there. And it just takes some time, like it's just a slow, like you gotta just keep mixing it. So, and then to season it, I like to just add, um, it's kind of a weird ingredient, but I like to add this like rib rub stuff. I don't know why, it just kind of has like a nice smoky flavor. So I add like a sprinkle of that and yeah, this is vegan. Um, you can put it on anything. I love it. I get this at like Kroger. I know I always say Kroger, like you guys know what that is. I hope, I don't know if you guys have that where you live, but it's just a regular grocery store. So I put like a little bit of that in there. And then just salt and pepper. And go light on the salt at first because you don't want to overdo it. But you can go heavy on the pepper because it's going to be like a pepper sausage gravy. A good snack beverage for when you're on the when you have the flu. Snack? Um, I'm not sure, but like as far as like food, food, I always make a vegan chicken noodle soup. And to do that, you um, get the egg-free noodles. I posted it before. Um, you get the egg-free noodles. And um, you take tofu and you put it in the freezer overnight and then you thaw it the next day. And then the consistency becomes kind of like similar to chicken texture, like in noodle soups. It's really weird, but I've posted that before and I'll, I'll post it again sometime probably because I'm feeling like I need to make it soon. <laughs> Other than outside the US, no, Kroger is. Kroger is a regular store. It's just a regular old grocery store. Um, any, like most major grocery stores sell this stuff. Unless you're, I don't know, as far as like being outside of the US, I really don't know. I'm, I'm not sure like in other countries what they have, but I'm sure they have similar products. But you can always improvise with like something similar. 
you don't have to ever do anything exactly the way I'm doing it. It'll, I mean, I wing it most of the time anyway, so. All right, so I've got one cup in there. Now I'm gonna do a cup and a half. And then two cups. Now that's, yeah, that's a cup and a half. So I'll mix that. And as you can see, like even with the, like we just put milk in it, but it's still already starting to thicken up into a white gravy. So, let me turn the oven light on so I can see my biscuits. Yeah, if you live in Texas, you know where Kroger is or what it is. be able to cook either though like I used to like I literally could only make like two things like when I first met Jeff like just to give you a time sense of time and that was like three, a couple years ago three years ago I couldn't cook anything but like two things and just over time because like I was craving a lot of things that I couldn't have as a vegan and then I just started to learn how to make them so yeah Kroger is uh, fries in Arizona it's the exact same store. It's just a different name. Because, like, stores like to make it sound like they're local. So, like, they use a different name in every area. <laughs> so, that's why when I say Kroger, like, it literally could be fries or it could be food for less or it could be all these other things. But the main major brand is Kroger. Sorry, that's a horrible sound, I know. I'm just trying to scrape the flour into the pan. Smells really good. Yeah, Trader Joe's is awesome too. It smells like, I, I don't know, my nose is kind of stuffed up right now so I can't really smell anything. Um, yeah, it smells like a little bit of, I don't know, I actually put a little bit of, I usually put a little bit of garlic in it but I'm not going to today. It doesn't need to be in there. I have not put a Christmas tree up yet. I'm kind of bummed out about it, but like, I just want to wait till Jeff gets home because I'm sure he'll want to go get decorations together. But we're not going to be home for Christmas because we're going to go um, visit family. So it's kind of like, do we even put up a tree? Like, we should though, just because I want Rory to have like all the decorations, but not that she'll really like know. <laughs> all right, so then I'm going to do another half cup, and then that's all for the milk mixture. And just keep mixing that. I'm gonna add like a crack of salt into it. But I like to taste as I go, which I'm not gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt because you don't wanna overdo it. Because this can turn out salty really quick because uh, the sausage is already salty. It doesn't have to be almond milk. You can use soy milk, coconut milk, oat milk, hemp milk, flax milk, rice milk. There's literally like 20 different kinds of vegan milk. You can use any one of them. I would, I would personally not do coconut just because sometimes coconut has a strong like coconut flavor. It depends on the brand, but you can definitely use it if you'd like. Just make sure it's unsweetened because um, that'll really mess up your gravy because um, if it's sweetened, it'll have like a weird sweet sour taste to it. Hi, <laughs> people just showing up. All right, I have a minute to like let this thicken up, so. No good alternative for tofu. My family's vegan, but none of us like tofu. So tofu, like, the thing is, is that it doesn't have a flavor itself, really. Um, you wanna season it however, um, like however you want, and like it'll take on the flavor of anything. Now, if you don't like the texture, I would recommend frying it. Um, it has a much better texture. It gets like a crispy skin. I would just toss in some cornstarch and fry it. Um, or you could bake it, or you could pan fry it, or you could, like I said earlier, freeze it, thaw it, and then it gets a texture that's similar to like chicken and like soups. So I would just like try to give it a chance by putting it with others, like put sauce on it and like season it really well because that's how you're gonna get it to taste like whatever you want it to. Um, but if you really don't like tofu, I would just say go for like, mushrooms or something. Mushrooms are really good for like meat substitutes because they're like meaty in texture. 
That's my fire alarm. Hold on one second. Sorry, it's like a super, super sensitive fire alarm. So if there's even like the slightest bit of smoke in this house, which there always is when I'm cooking, it goes off. <laughs> so yeah, cooking with Chloe, that's how it always goes. I always burn something or set the fire alarm off and usually Jeff's here to quickly turn it off. And like, I'm really glad that I was able to get a chair quickly and do that because I've never had to do that myself before. I ripped it off the wall, so I'll put it back up later. I'm not a good, like I told you guys, I'm not like a professional at all. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I just go for it. Okay, so now that this is completely mixed, I'm gonna turn the heat on low and that way it has time to like, cause you want it to thicken and it will only do that if you like let the heat go down to like a simmer. So I'm gonna mix that really well and then turn the heat off. starting out vegan um the recipe for vegan broth i use um vegetable broth in place of chicken broth and then i bought this really cool thing at the grocery store it's just called not chicken cubes and it's kind of like bouillon so i recommend this if you can find it's hard to find so it's going to be by the dry soup mix um like i found this by chance so it's kind of hard to find but Like not, not hard to find because it's it's like in most grocery stores, but I'm just saying like in the grocery store itself, it's like kind of hidden. It's like one, one section, it's by like the bouillon cubes. So now that I've got the gravy on simmer, I'm just gonna let that sit. And then once it starts to pick it up, you can just put your um, the sausage into it, just straight in, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's pretty si a simple recipe, and I'll um, check on the biscuits. They've got like a minute left, and we'll see if that thickens up while we wait. But I'll use this time to catch up on what you guys are saying. It's probably all just laughing at me because the fire alarm. <laughs> I do like almond yogurt. Almond yogurt is great. So, I use it in a lot of recipes and stuff. And um, Rory is being raised vegan by me, but like I, I've said before, she doesn't have to be vegan. She can like, you know, make her own choices when she's older. I just cook vegan. That's what I'm gonna make for her. Um, that kind of thing. I'm gonna educate her on like why I am vegan, why we are vegan and that kind of thing. But she can definitely like make her own choices as, as she gets older. But if I'm cooking dinner, I would like to make what I'm comfortable making. But she's welcome to like, cause I know it's kind of like the opposite of like a lot of you guys have problems with your parents not wanting to buy vegan stuff and not wanting to cook vegan stuff. So like, I'm kind of the opposite. Like I don't want to cook or buy meat. Um, but like, if she wants to buy it herself, you know, that's fine. And if she wants me, you know, that kind of thing, cause basically I'm just gonna try to raise her vegan and then let her make her own choices. Um, was it ever weird to see all of just fans watching your lives? Um, it's, it's not weird at all. It's just like, I don't know. It's like, I'm kind of trying, like, I know I'm wearing like one of his shirts or whatever, but it's just cause I have a lot of them. Okay. So biscuits are done. All right. I'm going to give them five more minutes because they don't have a golden like top so I checked them and I'm gonna give them five more minutes um but anyways it's not weird to me at all like it's just the only thing that's like kind of like diff not I don't even know how to say it like it's not difficult but it's like I want to just like not disassociate myself from him or like them or that kind of thing but like it's kind of like when I'm doing this it's about like 
my cooking and vegan and like that kind of thing and like I'm trying to help you guys with vegan stuff so it's kind of like I'm just trying to do my own thing but obviously like I'm connected in um, a big way <laughs> yeah don't be afraid to say hi to me if you see me like I'm a really very awkward person and like I'll probably not know what to do if you say hi to me or talk to me I'll just be like hi because I never know what to say to people but definitely don't be afraid to talk to me I'm probably more afraid to talk to you I don't know I'm just a really awkward person most of the time all the time pretty much um yeah exactly um tantrum talk exactly that's what I mean by that uh, like switch over being vegan sometimes. That's awesome. Uh, I'd be afraid to raise a child vegan because it needs so much. Um, as far as like raising a child vegan and being worried about nutrients, like I promise you, like she gets all of her nutrients, um, like from other sources. Like I don't even like worry about it because we go to the doctor, you know, for regular checkups and that kind of thing. Every time we go, they do like you know, um, her iron levels and that kind of thing, and like she's super healthy. Um, like super healthy like she's got great iron levels like um her doctor is not like her doctor is very like okay with me feeding her a vegan diet um she gets all of her nutrients from like plant sources and like her um, formula and stuff like that so definitely like we're doctor approved to do that so just make sure like you're just checking like you know that kind of stuff <laughs> thanks mike um, tips for being vegan, I would say just start with eliminating the easiest things, switching them for the vegan alternatives, and just doing the best you can. Um, it's not all or nothing. Just do the best you can. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so let's see if that's gotten a little thicker now. It's getting there. So go ahead and put the sausage into it now. All right, this gets to looking good. They'll be done in two minutes. I'm gonna try to chop this up a little better. wouldn't be weird to me at all like I don't want you guys to feel like you have to get us anything or make us anything or that kind of thing like don't ever feel like you have to do anything for us like that um but like I wouldn't be uncomfortable with you giving us like drawings and stuff like that so don't feel bad like or embarrassed or anything like that to do that we love like that kind of stuff I've been vegan for like I never know what to say exactly because I've been vegan for like three, four, five years. I really don't know because I switched like slowly. So I kind of like, I don't know when would be the exact date I went officially vegan, 100% like committed vegan. That's why I always tell people just do the best you can because like every little change that you make, like even just switching almond milk for, you know, milk and switching cheese, that kind of thing, like every tiny bit really does make a difference. So like don't feel like you have to go all or nothing like just you know every little bit if every single person like just did a little bit it would really make a difference all right one more minute and biscuits are done i can show you guys what this looks like totally finished and mike you should totally come over and get some of this If you're still here, I don't know. I can't tell. I know you just said something a minute ago. Uh, vanilla cake cupcake recipes. I'm not sure personally if I were to find you one, it would literally just be me Googling uh, vanilla cupcake and then veganizing it. So I'll work on that and try to come up with a vegan cupcake, but that would just be what I would do. Uh, no, it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable at all just because I've, so like with being vegan, and like being with someone who's not like and being around people that aren't I've had to learn to kind of shut that part of my brain off like I I can't get upset about it well Mike whatever I see how it is um anyways but I've learned that I've had to just let that part of myself not feel anything because like otherwise I'll just get upset all the time and I don't want to be upset all the time 
So like really, honestly, no, it doesn't bother me anymore just because I I can't get bothered by that anymore. It's just, it's all around me and it's like, it'll never, you know, the world will never go vegan overnight. You know, it's gonna be a slow change. So it's kind of like, I have to just accept that and then put my energy towards people that are interested in, like that's why I do this, because like I put my energy towards like people that, um, you know, want to learn about veganism and that kind of thing. Because like I said, every little bit makes a difference. So. I'm more interested in putting my energy towards that than worrying about what other people are doing that aren't interested in this. So, anyways, our biscuits and gravy is done, so I will show you what this is going to look like. So, our biscuit. So, here's a biscuit. You guys can see this is an American buttermilk biscuit. It's flaky. It's got steam coming out of it. Looks good. And then you just take the gravy and just pour it over top. And that is American biscuits and gravy. <laughs> and sausage is a little like, I've got big chunks of it, but it tastes so good. Um, like anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can break it up more, but, but yeah, check this out. Biscuits and gravy, all done now. And I'm gonna go eat this in a minute. And then here's the gravy you can see. It's like thickened up. funny for being vegan or vegetarian like excuse my language but fuck them like who cares like let them be like assholes and let them you know feel better about themselves by being mean to other people whatever like screw them like you're doing something that you know is right you're doing something that you feel is right for you like don't let anybody like tell you any different uh, uh in the sense of getting iron um I would say like greens, like dark leafy greens are really good. Um, beans, legumes, peanut butter even. Oh, no, not iron for peanut butter. Um, peanut butter is protein. Um, dark leafy greens. I'd say sneak spinach in your smoothies, um, spinach in anything you can. It wilts, it doesn't taste like much, so you can mix it in a lot of things. But that's what we do. We just like sneak spinach in like a lot of different recipes and stuff, and that's how like we get iron really well with, with no problems at all. Like, And really iron's not as hard to get as people think. Um, I would like to do a YouTube, but honestly, I just do not have the time for it right now. Like, that's why I do the lives, because it's something quick, and it's like, I can just do it and be done. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about doing the YouTube. I've mentioned it before. I'll think about doing it in the future. I just don't have time right now. Um, I feel like you should do it. Do it. Facts highlight on your story because okay yeah I'll be I'd probably do that sometime whenever I get the time I will do these things um, anyways I will post the recipe later and that's pretty much it so we got biscuits and gravy now and thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any further questions or anything um, or if you need to get on me to like post the recipe go ahead and message me um, get vitamin D if not from fish I didn't even know fish had vitamin D I don't I don't know I just don't eat fish so um uh, horrible vitamin D. Uh, I would just say vitamin D, fortified almond milks. Um, let me see something real quick. So this has vitamin D, 25% of your daily value of vitamin D. And this is like kind of like a low amount for like some of these. But if you get like the fortified soy milks and stuff, they've got a lot. Um, but this really isn't bad. That's kind of like comparable to milk. Percent of daily value. Yeah. Anyways, um, cool. Well, I'll let you guys go. And thanks for watching. And I'll post the store. I'll put this post this so you guys can rewatch it or anyone who didn't get to watch it can. So thanks, guys. Bye.